Our bodies are organic galvanic cells and so the electron flows around, the electrons flow around like this and uh, so your right hand has a natural pushing force and your left hand has a natural pulling force. This, this is the water element and the air so you're cycling it and it's just just like the world so this would be Polaris and uh, the black hole sun, the feminine would be down here. This is the white sun, the man, and this is the moon. Okay, the sun is a cathode and it gives you its positive light and the moon is an anode and it takes the light, it deoxidizes you. Like copper oxidizes and turns blue. So here's the whole world, and uh, the North Star, Polaris, this is the black hole sun, this is where all the compasses point. So here's the white sun, and it's pointing, <laughs> the man's pointing at the woman, and here's the moon, and so the electrons flow around like this, your, your body is the salt bridge. And uh, when, when your hand is open like this, your, your energies are open. And if you're like this, your energies are closed. If your hand's like this, it's, it's like being in neutral. And uh, so the energy flows around and around, but galvanic cells eventually are depe depleted of uh, energy, like your car battery. And so that's why we're, the little batteries on the big battery are self-replicating. We self-replicate. And so the big cell just keeps going. Uh, galvanize, the word on its own, means to shock or excite uh, and also coat with a protective layer. So the sun is coating you with all this energy, it's protecting you and then the moon is what like cleans it up so you don't get all oxidized, all your organs uh, oxidize individually just like copper. And so here this is like uh, commercial like electrolysis. Uh, of course, we know anything commercial has to do with the uh, Crown Templar, the Red Queen. But anyway, you see how it works. We're all born with a silver spoon in our mouth, so they say. <laughs> and it's kind of funny. So, uh, the white sun is, is putting the energy around here, and it goes to the moon, and it just goes around. And so um, the electrolysis of water, you can see water, the liquid goes to uh, two hydrogen and two oxygen, both gas. And so if you have two waters, it goes to oxygen with four hydrogens and four E minus, which are um, uh, electrons. Yeah, electrons. And so two waters and two electrons makes uh, hydrogen gas and two hydroxide. Hydroxide's like a really strong base and that that's why it cleans you because uh, no disease or cancer can survive in an alkaline environment. An alkaline is basic. Okay, you see it's the holy hand grenade there. And here, I showed you this before. Uh, it shows the Egyptian crook and the ankh is the man and the woman. Okay, here, the man's pointing to the woman. There's the moon. The exclamation point, the quest we're on. Polaris and the black hole sun. Polaris, black hole sun. And now, it's just like uh, all the stories they tell us, okay? 
the shepherd is pointing the sheep. He's saying there's two. You're you're in the law of two right now, and he's pointing you to the the X at the center of the dish where the holy of holies is. Okay, and inside is this this egg, and that's why the chicken went to the other side because the egg's down here, and the sheep doesn't know. And they talk about the tongue uh, being a double-edged sword, and it's because of the lesser magic spelling and things. And so you see here, he's got his watch on, and he's chained himself with his DNA to the Arctic, okay? Go to the Arctic all the way around the world, okay? And he just needs to uh, free his heart and put on the, the crown, okay? And so, shepherd pointing the way, okay? And it's just like this with the crook and the ankh, the man, the woman, the moon, Polaris. We used to have big trees like this. Now we have things called buttes and mesas with these little little trees on them. Uh, <laughs> and so you see the moon, 32 degrees, moon's frozen. And um, the force is all around you. You're breathing chi, which is also called prana. And I'm not saying to go fight people, but what this represents is like you see in the Alien vs. Predator movies. The Predators represent the Archons or the Fallen Angels, okay, the Red Queen, you know, from Alice in Wonderland, and the Aliens represent your straw man or your lower reptilian brainstem. So like when you, when you're controlled by like thinking about money and time and stuff like that that's this is what you become and this is this is the only this is what you have to become <laughs> and uh, so anyway here on Pokemon they're showing you uh, with the whole galvanic cell this is uh, Voltorb which is uh, encircled, it means encircled, and then he evolves or releases light and uh, becomes more complex and he's then electrode and electrode is an electrical conductor used to make contact with mon a non-metallic part of a circuit um, from the Greek words Electron meaning amber from which the color electricity is derived And uh, so they're showing you this is like the crown templar team rocket controls the earth gym and It's like it's all in the cards, okay the Magnetite the magnet tight the magnet on you who think you're like a primate and they're this fiery chameleon acting like they're the dragon air and they tell you nine tales of gloom about this gold duck and then you're like thinking about a magic carp and carp that's like uh, words speech spelling so it all relates back to this <laughs>